Hello guys and welcome in part 7 of the Moroccan Empire. Today it's going to be the starting, the beginning of the expansion, the beginning of the creation of the Moroccan Empire. We spent the first 14 days of the game struggling with the full coalition of Africa, a coalition composed of Chad, Cameroon, DR, Congo and uh, Brazil and also Cameroon. We destroyed them all. Now we have only some scattered units remaining for Chad here, they are roaming the place and we have a lot of rogue state in the continent of Africa. Our task now is to clear all of these provinces, clean this uh, mess that I created to destroy my enemies and for sure start the establishment of the Moroccan Empire. Just wait guys until you see all of the continent of Africa under the rule of the Moroccan Empire. It's going to be a vision pleasing for the eyes. It's going to be something that you don't see every day. Here in the jungles of Africa, in the middle of the lands of Angola and Dear Congo here, we are claiming those lands and we are taking them province by province. Meanwhile, I am building my towed artilleries here. I started the research of the destroyers and I also started to build the naval base level 3 because it's about time to start upgrading our navy because only land army, it's not going to help us against other continents. Now we have our first destroyer and also we saw that uh, France is positioning one corvette in the Gibraltar Strait. France has finished taking all of Spain and now I think th things are getting more serious here because France has finished expanding through the west and I think that he will start thinking about me and start thinking about the Kingdom of Morocco. Here I'm going so far to the east to the Egyptian lands. Uh, I declared war on uh, Libya, who he, who he was uh, an inactive player. Chad have conquered all of Libya, but not the cities. So here I'm going to declare the war on Libya and uh, take down his uh, homeland cities by the help of my Taut artilleries, because in this case I'm playing with the National Guards. It's not really very efficient to uh, start sending my National Guards to the cities that are protected with infantry. So I thought that the Taut Artilleries, they are going to help me a lot against the Rogue State, against these infantry and these scattered units all over the map. After I build the research of the level 1 destroyer, now it's time for the cruisers directly. In this game, I'm uh, thinking about a combo of uh, cruisers and frigates. Of course, I built the destroyers here because I need to do the research of the destroyers. So I used this uh, chance to at least build five destroyers to secure my coasts. Uh, even if uh, France will think about attacking me with those corvettes, he will do nothing to me while I have the destroyers. Meanwhile, I will start upgrading my cruisers and of course, we will have a decent strong navy there that can help us. Uh, help us secure the Mediterranean Sea and Gibraltar Strait. Here the city of Lubumbachi finally is stable. Uh, the morale is above 33%, so now I can move it here to the city of uh, Luena and all the surrounding provinces around it. So here this episode is going to be about clean, cleaning those lands, taking those uh, cities and of course uh, about the research plan and also I, I'd like to speak about what we are going to do in the further stages of this game. So from uh, our position, today is the day 16, as France and the European coalition is very tough, as uh, France has expanded uh, very well, also Serbia and their allies, also Poland. So here we have an imminent um, danger from Europe. Also, I'm going to speak a little bit about uh, Asia. Asia have been um, now it is struggling, but we can say that New Zealand, Australia and uh, Indonesia, they are um, controlling all of Asia and they will be a potential danger in the future. And from the far, far west, the United States of America is playing solo also. And he took down all of Canada and Mexico and all of the half of the uh, North America there. So yes, to be honest, the United States of America is going to be a serious problem there because you know, the biggest economy, the strongest nation and uh, when you have all of these conquered provinces, then I can imagine uh, the economy of the United States and how they are, uh, it is going to be, uh, to be having a tremendous army there. But this game is going to be played by the brains, it's going to be played smartly because here we are 
trying to um, manage this game with the resources available, with the nation itself, Morocco, and with the geographical position here. Because, you know, we are... We have a half on the Mediterranean Sea and the other half on the Atlantic Sea. The good thing here that we own the portal to the Mediterranean Sea from the west. So in this case, if I have a strong navy, I can literally close the Mediterranean Sea from the Gibraltar Strait. And in that case, I will be in a position of power. But guys, please tell me your opinion in uh, the comment section. Should I start attacking the United States of America before he grows up? or I should attack France and open fire on the European coalition. I will wait for your answers in the comment section as I will be pleased to hear all your opinions there and I hope that you help me here to win this game in solo in the No Air Force Challenge. Let's have a look at the map. So this is France. He took down Serbia and uh, he took down Spain and also United Kingdom have been split there with uh, Norway and France etc. He have a lot of level 2 naval bases. This is Serbia, he took half of Turkey, Greece and all of those regions. He have a um, level 2 also naval base. And this is our Moroccan Empire here at, as it is growing slowly, step by step. We are going to create one of the biggest empires in conflict of nations World War 3. Let's have a better look here. So this is our expansion. You can see that we are at war with all of Africa. It's a mess. It's a mess, but don't worry guys. It's only a matter of time until all of this mess is going to be cleaned and our empire is going to be obvious here that we will own all of the continent of Africa. I hope, I really hope that the Europeans, they do not attack me now because I'm not ready yet. I don't have the required navy and necessary navy to hold them off as soon as they have my cruisers, I will be able to be in a position of power. Okay, I can't move here because uh, if I move, I'm going to declare war on Mauritania. I don't want a lot of wars at the same time. That's very bad for my morale. So here, I'm just going to wait until I finish these uh, areas here. And later on, I will take care of the AI nations and, uh, and take them down. AI nations like Mauritania and uh, also there is Ghana and etc etc. The problem here is the rogue state. The rogue state is going to annoy me so much, especially when you don't have strike fighters. Because if we had like strike fighters or gunships, I just send them patrolling all over those cities and they will be cleaned for me, only send some national guards there and they will claim the lands and the cities for me. This is the hardest part with playing without air force it's very hard to be honest on land it's going to be a struggle believe me guys but it's always manageable if you know how to play if you know how to command your armies for the victory that's what we want to do and especially you saw guys that resistance resilience and never giving up has paid off eventually as we managed and we were successful to take down a full coalition here by five it was only morocco solo against five nations brazil morocco dr congo cameroon and all of them all of them they were the first ones to declare war on me i it wasn't me by the way it wasn't me who came to them it wasn't me who declared war on them it was them the first one was chad who declared war on morocco and we destroyed him later on it was uh, cameroon and also brazil but we destroyed them and after was the air congo and he also is destroyed and now let's go down down so far to the south as i want to take down these lands it has been taken south uh, africa has been taken by uh, brazil so come on guys i need to clear out all of these lands as fast as possible before someone else take them from me because you know Asians, Europeans, they will see that Africa is in chaos and they will think, oh, come on, there is a party here, let's go and take those lands. No, I'm sorry, these lands belongs to me. These lands belongs to the Moroccan Empire. So guys, it has been a pleasure to meet with you in the episode 7 of the Moroccan Empire. We meet in the episode 8. See you guys with more action and bye-bye.